eigen values and eigen vectors sometimes also called as latent values and latent vectors sometimes also called as characteristic values and characteristic vectors all same all same okay eigen latent characteristic all same sorry the no there is something called as eigen value problem there is a problem in mathematics uh, which is also called as eigen value problem what exactly it is suppose if you have a square matrix a if you have a square matrix a for a given square matrix a if i can find non zero vectors capital x is such that ax equal to lambda x let me repeat if you can find for a given square matrix if you can find non zero vectors capital x is such that ax equal to lambda x for some scalar lambda such a problem we call it as a eigen value problem eigen is a problem basically it's a problem uh, defined in mathematics okay that problem tells me for any given square matrix if you can find capital x as vectors in such a way that ax equal to lambda x for some scalar lambda such problem is called eigen value problem okay now the point here is i'm talking about non zero vectors capital x zero vectors for any value of lambda x equal to 0 is always a solution okay in fact this can also be written as a minus lambda i into x equal to 0 which looks in the form of homogeneous system of linear equations remember homogeneous system of linear equations which is always consistent which always has a trivial solution which is x equal to 0 so the question is always about what would be those non trivial solutions x is such that this matrix into x equal to 0 okay so if you are able to find all those non trivial solutions then the problem is called as eigen value problem okay now when do we have non trivial solutions for this suppose if you have a system ax equal to 0 ax equal to 0 okay this has a unique solution unique solution which is a trivial solution when the rank of the matrix equal to the number of unknowns rank of the matrix equal to number of unknowns since a is a square matrix a is a square matrix you are going to have suppose it's an nth order square matrix n by n matrix then you are going to have n unknowns n equations n unknowns okay it will have a unique solution when the rank of the matrix a equal to number of unknowns equal to n which will have unique solution which is a trivial solution when do we have non trivial solution when the rank of the matrix a is less than n when do it will be less than n when the determinant of the matrix a equal to 0 that means if in this scenario the non trivial solutions that is non zero solutions are possible when determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 this gives us an nth degree polynomial in terms of lambda also called as characteristic equation also called as characteristic equation are you getting how we approach this determinant of a minus lambda equal to 0 i am looking for non zero solutions 
zero solution anyway would be there because it's a homogeneous system always you have a trivial solution i'm looking for those non trivial solutions which are possible out of this entire system of homogeneous equations okay in which case i should have determinant of a minus lambda equal to zero which gives me the characteristic equation okay this characteristic equation is is always an nth degree polynomial in terms of lambda which will have n roots by fundamental theorem of algebra and nth degree polynomial will always have n roots may be real or imaginary so this is going to have n roots that means lambda equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n getting that now for each lambda that i am going to take suppose lambda 1 a x equal to lambda 1 x this gives me a homogeneous system this gives me a homogeneous system understand this gives me a homogeneous system but a particular value of lambda 1 lambda 1 i have given a specific value out of n roots i have taken one of them 0 1 2 3 4 5 whatever it can be okay this gives me a homogeneous system n unknowns okay after substituting the value of lambda 1 I may get non-trivial solutions because that's the reason why I got lambda 1. Why did I get lambda 1? Because I'm going to get non-trivial solutions. All these non-trivial solutions will be a solution space. Getting that? That means if I substitute lambda 1, this is going to give me x1 solution space. So for lambda 1, I got x1 solution space okay all these vectors in fact all these lambdas we call them as characteristic values or latent values or eigen values all these lambdas characteristic values latent values or eigen values for each corresponding lambda i i am going to get a subspace itself is it or not a subspace itself it's not just one vector x1 is not capital x1 is not just one vector you are going to get a set of vectors which forms a subspace I, I think we have already shown that one right which forms a subspace it's not just one vector i'm telling you again it's not just one vector if you remember my graduation or your graduation i think most of the teachers would have told you <coughs> for every lambda one you would have found out only one vector even I have found only one vector in my graduation, but it's not like that. That one vector is just a basis vector in that entire vector space. Okay. So this gives me a subspace of a vector space of vectors. For another lambda 2, I am going to get x2. These vector spaces, each of the vector, we call them as Eigen vectors and Eigen vectors will be there for a specific Eigen value only for the given matrix. Given the matrix A for the specific value of lambda, you are going to have those specific excess vectors called as Eigen vectors, latent vectors, or characteristic vectors. Are you getting that? So for each lambda, you are going to have an Eigen space altogether. We'll have an Eigen space. Getting that? This entire system, in fact, what we call it as eigenvalue problem. If you are able to find all those capital X's eigenvectors for specific values of eigenvalues, lambdas, non-zero eigenvectors, such that Ax equal to lambda x is called eigenvalue problem. 